Hey there guys, how's it going? Dr. Mike Belkowski of BioLite here. In this video, I wanna talk about how red light therapy can help improve your hair health or uh, mitigate hair loss or prevent hair loss altogether. And so the scientists and the scientific community has really known since the 1960s or so that light has had an effect on hair health. It's helped promote um, hair growth, is which, what they noticed in mice back in the 1960s. And so when talking about, you know, overall hair health and the hair cycle of life, if you will, we need to know about three different phases. The first one is called the anagen phase, and this is the hair uh, growth phase. This, this lasts anywhere from two to six years. Uh, it's where you have that beautiful hair growth, hair health, it's looking very vibrant, and all is well. <laughs> um, but the second phase, the catagen phase, is where if this is the hair follicle, uh, we're starting to have pruning or uh, a break off of the hair supply to the hair follicle, which is kind of a segue into the third phase, which is called the telogen phase. And this is where you have complete disassociation and break off of blood supply to the hair follicle. So this is where we start getting brittle hair, hair is falling out, hair loss. Um, which, so that's just a natural cycle of you know, overall hair, hair health. Um, again, the antigen phase lasts two to six years, catagen phase lasts a couple weeks, and then the telogen phase can last anywhere from four to six weeks. So the overall goal of promoting you know, hair health and um, hair vitality, if you will, is to lengthen the antigen phase and then shorten or prevent um, the catagen and telogen phase from even happening. And that's exactly what red light therapy seems to do according to the research. And the mechanisms at play when we look at the physiology and the biology of how this can happen, um, it's kind of the same underlying mechanisms of most of the pathologies or health and wellness conditions that red light therapy can help. The first one being improved circulation. And as you know from other posts or other videos or if you've read a lot about red light therapy, you know that red light therapy stimulates the mitochondria which causes a disassociation of nitric oxide, NO, uh, from the cytochrome C oxidase. And so the more or the appropriate amount of light energy hitting the mitochondria, you're going to get more and more disassociation of NO floating around in your blood, which is going to cause a vasodilation of your blood vessels, which ultimately is going to lead to improved blood flow, you know, improved oxygenation to wherever you're shining that red and near infrared light. And so, you know, with hair health, it's no different. If you're getting a good amount of circulation or if you're improving the circulation, then again, you're going to prolong the antigen phase and mitigate um, the telogen or sorry, the catagen telogen phases from even happening. Um, the second mechanism, which is very common with other um, red light therapy conditions, is anti-inflammatory. You're going to reduce inflammation. And especially with hair loss conditions and um, alopecia and others, inflammation is kind of the death of the hair follicle. So if you can stave off inflammation, drive it down, then you're just by doing that, you're going to promote wonderful hair health. You're going to promote, you know, elongation of the antigen phase. And then, you know, as with other conditions with red light therapy, you're going to induce improved ATP production because you're boosting the health of the mitochondria. So that's going to lead to um, a better energy supply, which is also going to help promote more growth factors and on and on and on. The big two being improved circulation, uh, reduced inflammation, but also you're going to get that nice kick of energy to help um, improve growth factors and you know inhibit um, other factors that would uh, kind of stop the growth and uh, potentiation of hair health. And so not only does uh, red light therapy improve hair growth, but it actually improves the diameter of the hair follicle itself. And that's been shown in many research articles as well. So kind of in a nutshell, with red light therapy and hair health, you're going to not only have a longer growth phase, a more abundant growth phase, but also you're going to have a decreased or um, prevented from happening um, catagen telogen phases, which are going to be kind of uh, the hair loss, hair thinning phases. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. That's just a quick little um, kind of 
quick hits on how red light therapy can help promote hair health, hair vitality, and help you stave off hair thinning, hair loss. Um, if you guys have any questions, by all means, as always, leave comments below, send us an email at info at biolite.shop, or visit us on uh, Instagram at biolite.shop. You know, hit us up with a message. You know, we're always willing to respond and happy to respond within 24 hours. And uh, that's what we're here for. We want to help. We want to promote red light therapy education and make sure that uh, you can get the most out of um, your red light therapy device, uh, whichever device you choose to have. So I hope this has been useful. As always, take care and we'll see you in the next video.